Hey guys, what is up? My name is Ducks, and today I am running out of storage on my newly built PC that I just finished in February. So, I, okay, in case y'all don't know, I do film a lot of my GoPro, I do film a lot of game battles, because I play a lot of those now, I do film a lot of just regular matches when I think I do good. Why? I don't know, I just like to have everything saved, I don't typically like deleting stuff. So anyway, I had a 1TB um, Western Digital Blue hard drive, and then I had a 512GB SanDisk SSD. So I was running out of storage, so uh, I only have two drive bays, but that's another crappy thing. So basically what I did is I took everything from that uh, one terabyte Western Digital hard drive, and well, I had another external one terabyte hard drive. It's actually my mom's, but I'm borrowing it at the moment so I can do this. Sorry, I got a Snapchat. So what I did was I put it all on the external one terabyte, I couldn't fit it all one go, so I took it, put everything on here, then I took it up here and stuck it on my family's PC. So they still have a lot of storage. And then it's currently backing up onto there. And then uh, I'm just going to leave this going. I'm going to go ahead and install the new hard drive while this is doing its thing. And then once that's done, I'll delete it off there. Actually, no. I'll keep it on there. I'll put it from there back on all of that onto that hard drive. Then I'll put that hard drive into the new computer. It's... Right there, sorry, I'm filming this on my iPhone, so I'm not very coordinated. And then after that, I'll have three extra terabytes because this is a, what is it, a Seagate 4 terabyte Western Digital Barracuda Drive? Barracuda Drive. So, open case, you got a SATA connector, or SATA port, SATA, SATA cable that came with my motherboard. I just threw it in here. And then, I'll put you down. Four terabyte C8 Barracuda drive. So, put that in there. Put that right there. Let's drop that back in the box. Drop that again. All right. Whoa, that was really close. Okay. Now I'm gonna go turn off the computer downstairs, bring it up here so I don't get, I don't fry the other hard drive because I gotta be grounded. And then pretty much after that, I think we're, we'll be Gucci. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't really know. But I decided to make a video out of this. Probably won't be the longest video in the world. I might upload this the same day I upload just a regular gameplay of a game battle. Or I might upload this as a single video on its own day. I don't know, I'm about to find out. All right, fuck, okay, anyways. This is the PC, there's that. So, I don't have a fucking mouse, I gotta go back upstairs. Well. I just press the power button. Oh. Forgot I had a power button. I gotta do all this fast because my sister just left to go get Applebee's for us. My mom's in a different state. My dad's in Atlanta working currently, and it's just me and her tonight. So she went to go pick up Applebee's to go, and then we're gonna watch part eight of Friday the 13th in honor of Friday the 13th, the game that just came out. Okay. Okay, turned off. I'm gonna wait for the fans to stop spinning. Wait for it. That's also the same angle that I use to record my GoPro when I face cam. GBs. Okay. Anyways. Oh crap. Okay. Um. Stick that on my phone stand. Cause I can't. I have that. Uh, park this back so y'all can see all the cables. Take out the HDMI. Take out the Elgato. Take out the microphone. Come on. That didn't sound good. Take out Ethernet and then take out the keyboard. Last but not least, we're going to switch that to make sure that no power is going from the wall into the power bay. Power brick. And then we're going to unhook that. Take the GoPro off the top and we're going to. Oh, 
the rest of there. Unplug headphones. Unplug the that thing. And then I'm gonna have to carry this behemoth of a computer upstairs. So I will get back to you upstairs. All right. So my camera died. Sorry in advance. Um. But yeah, all I did was I unplugged the SATA port, or the SATA cable that's right there, and the power that's right there from the power bay of a 750 watt. And then I pulled out the drive bay, which withheld a Western Digital Blue one terabyte drive. Now, I'm gonna carefully put this up right there. Um, get the screwed up right in, they could actually be screwed in. And, uh, that. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. Looks like oh, that's upside down, by the way. Alright. This looks like I'm going to need a tinier screwdriver. The tiny screwdriver is right here. Did not think I'd be that organized. Okay, I just broke something. But this, in case you did not know, okay, sorry, we're stopping now. This is something my mom got when she was like 10 for art class or whatever, and it is the most OG thing you'll ever use. Alright, that should be better. Anyways, this little tin can. Open it up. Um, Teeny tiny screwdrivers that might look kind of big, but compared to a hard drive, barely even half the size. Right. One, two, three, fuck it. And if you can't tell, I put the screws right here and I'm just aligning them the same way that I unscrew them so I know. You don't technically have to do that, but it's just helpful for me just to make sure I don't mess anything up with a fractal design to find C case. Okay, so this is the drive bay individually. I'm going to set that for here. Um, the hard drive itself. Carefully right there. Let's open this. Take out the set of cable. We don't need that. Oh! Okay, y'all probably couldn't just see what happened. Um, keep those. And keep the box as a steady workplace. scissors because it's gonna trip me out. I'm dealing with a hundred dollar hard drive. I do not like this. <laughs> move that make sure this still works properly. Green light good. And at rate speed three and a half hours. This is the world's slowest fucking computer. So this is the four terabytes, as you see right there, Seagate Barracuda drive. 
after and carefully lay that like that. And make sure, okay. This has to be angled like that. in place. I'm going to take this. Okay, I don't really know how to angle this camera to show y'all. Hold on. Okay. Let's just assume y'all can see what's going on. that slides into place. That. I believe goes right there. Where the hell did the power cable go? Okay, hopefully y'all can see that. Basically what I did is I took this drive bay right here, I slid it back in there, and then I plugged in the SATA, and I plugged in, right, I plugged in the SATA, and I plugged in the power. So now I'm gonna reroute all these cables, uh, stick that back on here, plug it in, and pray to God that I did not just fuck up a thousand dollar computer. All right, brought it back downstairs, plugged everything in, hopefully y'all can see all of that. Angle on the monitor, so. First things first, turn on the monitor, that power's on, that's good. Second thing, don't scare the crap out of yourself, William. Flip the switch back. One, two, three. Sounds normal. Okay, booting into the BIOS because the BIOS was installed on the SSD, not the four terabyte, not the one terabyte Western Digital Blue Drive that's still upstairs. So now let me set this up. Okay, so just like that, I set it up. Four terabyte uh, Seagate hard drive, I named it that. And we have 3.63 terabytes, not terrible. It's supposed to be four, but it, it's fine. So basically what you wanna do to set it up after you install a new hollow, hollow, hollow. sorry. <laughs> after you install a new hard drive and you plug it up and everything's good, you'll just see a local drive C and you won't see the hard drive. Don't freak out, just come down to the start manager, go to type in computer management, click on it. So once this pops up, you're going to see all of these little things. You're going to want to go to storage and then disk management. And then once you're in disk management, a thing will pop up and it'll say initialize. Just click OK. Um, and then you'll see one disk and it'll have, uh, well I'll have disk zero and it'll be normal and then there'll be one. And the other one with just one big, big, well, a big black bar. Just right click it. Uh, hit new volume something and then just go through the steps you can name it whatever you want um, keep everything to the default settings is how Windows sets it up 
and then after you're done, you can just close that out, and there you go. Brand new 4 terabyte Seagate hard drive. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna angle this back. Um, so yeah, now I have a lot more storage to do YouTube, to do video editing, to do personal documents for school and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to share this along with you guys on how I installed a four, how I uninstalled a one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive and installed a Seagate four terabyte hard drive. Anyways, guys, this has been your boy Ducks signing off. Peace. Shit, all I needed was a pick, but your ass all you said to me a narrative or something.